Hi there! So, in today's video I want to talk about one of my favorite ENFP TV characters of all times called Audrey Horn. Okay, so this is probably going to sound a little bit pathetic, but let me tell you about one of the best summers of my life. And that was the summer of 2018 that I mostly spent indoors binge watching one episode of Twin Peaks after the other. <laughs> and I'm not going to try to explain what Twin Peaks is all about now because it's way too disturbing and <laughs> complicated and so even if I tried I probably couldn't sum it up for you <laughs> and uh, this video probably will only make sense to you if you've watched it yourself. Okay, so what do I love about Audrey Horn? Well, as far as I remember, when she is first introduced in the series, she kind of comes off as a somewhat spoiled and overly flirtatious little bread. <laughs> um, but the impression you get of her as a viewer, at least or at least for me, it did um, totally change uh, over time as the story unfolds and um, we get to see more different sides or aspects to her personality. While at first we don't really know what side she's on, you know, like, is she good, is she evil, um, does she plan any intrigues, <laughs> um, what does she have to do with the whole crime thing. Um, later on it gets more and more clear that she is probably one of the characters in the series with the most moral integrity and good intentions of almost all of them. And um, that she's actually just a little bit lost or lonely maybe. And she so beautifully embodies a sense of longing and yet at the same time inner strength and um, also I think uh, her character presents a lot of beautiful, subtle um, sensuality and elegance that I would associate with the inferior introverted sensing of the ENFP. And I really love, for example, how gracefully she handles a lot of the stuff that happens to her. Um, when she tries to help in her own way and things go a little bit wrong <laughs> and yeah how she she still remains so composed even when for example Cooper kind of rejects her because she's too young and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, and I guess that's all I wanted to say about this very cool character. Um, even though there are probably a lot of uh, other things worth mentioning about her. Um, I think there was a, an article about why she was one of the best characters of Twin Peaks uh, on BuzzFeed or something. Uh, maybe I'll find it and put the link in the description box. And well, yeah, that being said, um, feel free to leave a comment as always, especially if you're a Twin Peaks fan. And yeah, till the next time. Bye.